Welcome to Daily Hope from Victory Lutheran Church. I'm Pastor Steve Leon. In the 40 years I've been a pastor, there are a variety of former members that stand out in my mind's eye. There are dozens of them, but a couple in particular. There's Mildred Hansen from our first parish, dear old soul. Joanne was working nights as a nurse, and Mildred would watch the kids during the day so Joanne could get some sleep. She adored the kids, and they returned the favor. But there were two of them in diapers, and in those days we used cloth diapers, and Mildred could be comically absent-minded, and she often forgot to use the rubber pants. She'd be holding them close, and before long one of the kids, and Mildred, would be bespotted with urine. There was Dottie Leslie in our second parish in South Texas. She showed up the day after we arrived, asked for our dirty laundry, then returned the next day with all of it washed, dried, and folded. And then there was Anna Kramer. She was another. When I was out of town at Bible camp and Joanne was deathly ill, she rang the doorbell, showed up with a huge pot of soup, put Joanne to bed, then fed the kids, bathed them, put them to bed, then washed the kitchen floor and left. What a godsend. And then there was Ruth Rowan. When we moved to Cedar Falls, Iowa, she was our oldest son's first teacher. And in a new town and new school, that's really important. Ruth loved Nathan, and he loved her. When I dropped him off for school the first day, she thought I was his big brother and not his father. I'll always love her for that. But there's one very special little girl that I remember from our congregation in Brentwood, California. She was probably three or four years old at the time, the daughter of one of our staff members. Her name was Ivy. She had this beautiful head of curly brown hair, often graced with little bows. Ivy and I had a special relationship. Whenever I saw her, I would stoop down to eye level and we'd talk. She was rather quiet and shy but I could tell she liked me. One day she came to church in her finest red dress and had on these beautiful little ruby red shoes that were covered in red glitter. I stooped down to talk with Ivy and I told her that I thought her shoes were really something special. Ivy thought for a minute or two. Then she totally surprised me when she reached down to one of her shoes, pinched off a tiny bit of glitter, put it in my hand and said, here, you can have some. I thought I would melt on the spot. What a delightful, heartfelt gift from a precious little girl. You know, each of these people, so warm and Christ-like in my memory, showed me the love of God in some very special ways. They actually spread the fragrance of Christ. I think the Apostle Paul might have had people like them in mind when he wrote to the Corinthians. He said this, Through us, God brings knowledge of Christ. Everywhere we go, people breathe in the exquisite fragrance of Christ. And because of him, we give off a sweet scent rising to God, which is recognized by those on the way to salvation, an aroma redolent with life. What a gift we can be to one another, friends. Let's be intentional about doing just that today. Spread the fragrance of Christ wherever you go. Please join me in prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you for the lives and witness of so many people that we know that have showed us the love and life of Christ in very subtle ways, but so powerful and life-changing. God, will you make us into those kind of people that are catalysts in the lives of others? that we can spread the aroma of Christ like a sweet smelling perfume everywhere we go, that when people see us and talk to us, they might know that we carry within us the light of Christ. We pray it in his name, amen. Thanks for tuning in and joining me, friends. And as you head out into your day, remember to spread the love of Christ wherever you go, wherever you do, and whomever you meet. And maybe you wanna tell them, that they are loved and they are never alone.